Hey guys, what's up? It's me, your girl Sherry, and today we are gonna be cooking because every single time I post a picture of some food that I really, really like, I get these inboxes and everybody's like, why would you post something and don't tell us how you made it? So I promised that going forward, I was going to always try to show you how I made these dishes that I really love so much. Now, you guys know that one of the favorite things that I love to do is I really, really, really love to take fattening foods that are really bad for you and then revamp them to make them really good for you, like really low carb, low fat, low in calories, and very healthy. Now the thing about me is, I don't have time to be prepping stuff like all day. I don't have time to like chop stuff and have like 10 and 12 ingredients and like, you know, cook for two hours and then clean up for another three hours. I don't have it like that, y'all. So <laughs> what I usually do is I try to do it the fastest way possible using the, the fewest amount of ingredients as possible. Now, what I usually do is I try to find pre-prepped ingredients all the time. And that's really easy to do now. Um, there's so many ingredients out there that are already cleaned and washed and chopped. So it's really easy to do. Um, now, what I will say is that most of the meals that I prep, um, when I do meal preps, I try to do two entrees at a time and four sides. And they usually consist of like vegetables. Um, so, and then I take those two entrees and I interchange them with those on with those side items during the week and it usually lasts me for about 14 days so what I'm gonna do real soon is I'm gonna start showing you guys my really fast meal prep strategy and it's really easy and they're always healthy they're always very economical and so I'm gonna make um, some videos and show you guys those now today I will preface this video by saying that this a particular dish that I'm making probably has the most um, ingredients of any dish I've ever made and this will probably be the only dish that I make with this amount of ingredients now I've still minimized the prep time by getting the pre-washed pre um, chopped ingredients so I'm always going to do that so it's still not going to take very long but it does have a little uh, a few more ingredients than I normally use okay so that being said today's dish today's dish <laughs> that I'm going to be making it's called um, chicken and shrimp fried cauliflower rice now let me just say this this dish is inspired by my girl Kit Kat because she has been going on this like fried rice binge thing okay so and i love rice i'm from new orleans you guys so you know how much i love rice we eat rice with everything we eat rice with beans we eat rice with peas we eat rice with rice okay we eat rice with everything and i love rice but i haven't really been able to eat it um for a few years i used to eat brown rice and i've uh, all but given up brown rice so I don't even eat rice anymore and typically what I eat in place of rice is quinoa. Um, so anyway, she has got me craving fried rice. But again, I always try to take those meals or those dishes that are not good for me or dishes that I can't eat because I'm a, I'm a closet foodie, but I can't eat the foods that I love unless I make them healthy, okay? So um, what I'm gonna do is I've replaced the cauliflower with, um, Sorry, I've replaced the rice with cauliflower. So um, let's get ready to cook it and I'm gonna show you all the ingredients and let's get started. Okay guys, so these are the ingredients that I'm gonna be using. First, we'll start over here with um, the the veggies that I'm gonna stir fry first. We're gonna, these are, I mean, they're really simple ingredients. Again, you can see that I love to um, get the already pre-chopped, pre-washed ingredients. So you've got onions, we got white onions here. We have green onions, or in New Orleans, we call them shallots. And at first, I couldn't even find these. All I could see, all I could find were these. So since I found those, um, out with those. We don't need that anymore, right? So I also will, of course, the main ingredient here is going to be the cauliflower fried rice. Now, I shop at Walmart, okay, no secret, you guys see all the great value brands that I use, and I actually happen to see this one, this stir fry, uh, this, this uh, great value stir fried cauliflower rice. 
but um, I've never tried it before and so um, I don't want to experiment this first time and this is the one I've used before um, this is the brand I like and this is the brand I've used and I will tell you it's really nasty if you just kind of take it out of the package and put it in the microwave and try to eat it like that it's super nasty okay so you really have to um, fix it up um, let's see now the veggies are going to be kind of like to your taste right Oh, of course, we don't want to forget garlic. Garlic. You want to do your minced garlic. You can chop it up if you want, but not me. No, thank you. Um, we are going to use, I am, I'm going to use broccoli. Um, it's already, it's pre-chopped, of course, frozen, the florets. We're going to put those in the microwave for a minute before we stir fry them. And then um, sugar snap peas. I thought these might be really good and authentic since we're doing an Asian dish already washed and everything. Um, so we're just going to actually throw those in our stir fry. Now, I love going to Walmart for their shrimp. I use the frozen shrimp and I actually do use the extra small. The reason I use the extra small is because I don't have to chop them up. I don't have to cut them in half. I don't have to devein them or um, peel them or any of that stuff. They come uh, quite a few to a bag. So one bag is enough and they're right, just, just the right size for like a dish like this. They're bite-sized and they're really good. They're not going to shrink up any because you don't cook them that long. Okay, and then the next thing we do, I'm going to I'm gonna do, I should say, is use chicken fajita strips. Now, I do have to chop these up a little bit because you don't want to just throw, throw these long strips of chicken in there. You want to do, you do want to chop them up a little bit. And the reason I use the chicken fajita strips is because they already have a little bit of seasoning on them and that'll add a little flavor to your dish. And then next, we have, of course, what is fried rice without your soy sauce. Now, with the soy sauce, you can use the regular soy sauce. I really like the Kiko Man. Um, I don't have any salt issues or blood pressure issues, so I can use that and it won't, wouldn't bother me. However, I choose to use the low sodium Kiko Man because I'm also cooking this for my boo, my husband. So. I am going to, so this is all of the ingredients. I don't always want to turn it. I'm so used to doing that, but now I'm trying to put it on a gram, y'all. Okay, so these are all the ingredients. Not many, but a lot more than I usually use. And as I said, this will be probably the most amount of ingredients I'll ever use in a dish. Okay, all right. So we're going to get started, guys. Okay, guys, so update. Left out two ingredients, but they're simple ones. You want to get four eggs because what's fried rice without eggs i use four eggs and i beat them up a little bit and your extra virgin olive oil you want to go ahead and maybe put about two tablespoons in a large nonstick skillet all right so we're updated So as you can see, it's about done. I'm um, starting with adding all of my ingredients in and I added soy sauce to taste and it is really yummy. Okay guys, so there you have it. It took about 30 minutes from start time to finish and the statistics on this is great because cauliflower fried rice has about 25 calories per cup and it only has five grams of carbs per cup versus fried rice that is uh, about 218 calories per cup and 48 grams of carbs so you can't beat that and it's really really good y'all so you got to try it if you want the recipe actually i'll have it all typed up if you go to my channel sherry unshrunken on youtube Thanks, guys see you next time bye